Oh my god. It's the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse. <gasps> Can I have your autograph? Hey, Geneva. What brings you to these parts? You finally ditching that indie promotion and hitting the big time? Never. TVD is my home. You know I love the blood, sweat, and tears of the indies. WWE is all gloss and glamour. Seriously? I guess you've missed the last couple years of my run here. Jeez, relax. Somebody's lost their sense of humor since they worked for me. Sorry, I'm just a bit on edge with everything that's been going on. You know, if you want to get some extra work in to prepare for Gunther, we've got a TBD show coming up. And we just so happen to have an opening on the card. It would be nice to get some work in to prepare for Imperium. All right. I guess I can RSVP yes to TBD. What's the ETA? That's the spirit. I'll send you the details. It'll be good working with you again, Geneva. Mm.
that's what I'm talking about! Top-notch TBD action! That was wrestling at its finest. As the person in the ring, I can assure you, it most definitely was not. No need to be salty. This was a great night. You knew that was going to happen with Imperium, didn't you? You set me up. No. And, frankly, I cannot believe after all we've been through you could accuse me of something like that. Set you up? Me working with Imperium? No. Now, did I think it was a possibility that Imperium could find out you were wrestling for TBD and show up? Yeah. Is that maybe part of the reason I asked you? Sure, but that's not the same thing as setting you up. Look, you got a chance to get work in, and I got a chance to make some dough. So we both win. Did we? I'm starting to remember why I stopped working with you guys. Always looking to make an extra buck. Yeah. Isn't that the whole point? It's a business. And business is going to be good after all the buzz around this. Glad I could help. <laughs> Me too. Damn it. I forgot to unmute again. Uh, let's go! So polite. Oh, hell. Oh, here we go. Chosen! Try to meet Chosen. Chosen Stone Diamond. If I can help it. No! That won't get it. No, not yet. Too early. Oh. Oh.
Oh, nice. Combination. Just as I was about to land on him. Oh. Come on. Ribs. Some more mounted punches. See, we're early, but can I get him already? One, two, three, uh. He got him. Another victory in Japan. Uh, that was it then. Let's continue the main story here. Main storyline. Bold move, challenging the longest reigning intercontinental champion in WWE history. That's who fortune favors, Troy. The bold. I suppose we'll have to see about that. I'm hoping that means you have some good news for me. And Miz has agreed to my request for a match with Gunther? Oh, no. Absolutely not. Miz giving you anything without strings? Could you even imagine? <laughs> no, but I didn't imagine having to deal with you at the airport either. Lucky day for everyone. Gunther could certainly be in the cards, but why rush into it when Miz has so many hand-picked opponents for you? Like Bronson Reed, who you'll be taking on in a non-title match next. You ready to head to the arena? This might be the first time you've ever given me good news, Troy. I can't wait to get Bronson in the ring. My goals reach no higher than the happiness of SmackDown's WWE Universal Champion. Undisputed. You left out a word there, buddy. Going, going, Gunther. Okay. Here comes Big Bronson Reed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Black Forest, South Australia. Weighing in at 330 pounds. Bronson Reed! The kaiju of WWE, Big Bronson Reed. He has been on an absolute tear as of late. We've seen him beat some big names, compete in some major matches. I think it's just a matter of time before Bronson really hits it big. Gentlemen, big Bronson Reed is ready to claw through the competition. And I don't think anyone can stop him. And there he is, the man who's blazing uh, his trail come. through WWE.
and his opponent from London, England, weighing in at 215 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Superstar! It just goes to show you, you can't judge a book by its cover, and you can't judge a wrestler by where they start their career. Match after match, the Dark Horse is turning doubters into believers. The doubts are probably the very thing that fueled him. He really should be thanking those of us who didn't have his back. It's time to silence the critics and make some noise. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion giving a huge opportunity okay, here we go. to his opponent tonight. The beat wants to lose by pinfall or pin off the match. That's ridiculous, Corey. The champ has never backed down from a challenge. Like, yeah. Let's hop up. Oh, man, right to the esophagus. He's got him scared. Not Face wash. Oh, that hurt. Stomping their opponent to the rib. Stomp to the rib. Come on, Bronson. I should really put this on hard. And Reed capitalizes At there. I just got it on normal. So, but I no maybe way. should. Oh, just completely off target there. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not good. Epic fail by Monson. boldness backfiring. He's getting pushed out of the defensive. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Thrown back in under the ropes. Mounted with he hasn't even reversed my mounted punch. Oh, wait for no time. Three, I thought that was it. That's way too close. Counters with an attack on Reed. It's a revolving door of forearms. Ouch. Oh, he counted. The finisher. Oh. Oh. Will that clinch things for Reed? Two. Somehow he kicked out. I thought for sure this thing was wrapped up. Well, stay in your seat. Looks like we've got a ways to go yet. And you got to think that all the plans oh. are out the window after that. Uh oh. Pulling the hair into a match slam. Oh, whoever. Oh. Down. Oh. What was going? Going for the tsunami. These two having an answer for everything. Escape just in time. Up into the torture rack. Oh. Ooh. Can we come back from that? It's the cover. Two, three. Oh, yeah. Here tonight. Wait, it's Gunther. Oh, man. Here we go. You asked for this, champ. The Dark Horse called out the longest reigning intercontinental champion in history. And the ring general is giving his answer.
Gunther getting right in the WWE Universal Champion's face. And our so-called undisputed champs not doing a damn thing about it. Again. Where the hell is he, Troy? Our general manager? He doesn't report to me. Zero interest in small talk, Troy. I want Gunther now. Do you? I mean, he was standing right in front of you and you didn't do anything about it. What are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything, champ. But it's all over social media. I was just reading a post from Roman Reigns that made you look like a joke. All the more reason not to keep stalling. Except there is. Our Intercontinental Champion is very important to the future of SmackDown, and Miz is off making sure that his top superstar is happy. Uh, what now, Troy? What flaming hoop do I have to jump through for Miz to give me what both of us already want? You will be facing the Ring General's top lieutenant, Ludwig Kaiser. If I didn't know any better, I'd say Miz is doing the thing where he tries to wear me down before my next big match. Miz would never. I'm out, Troy. I'll beat Kaiser. Then Miz had better give me Gunther so we can settle this once and for all. A man who has nothing but disdain for his competition, Ludwig Kaiser. Kaiser surveying the battlefield for the conflict to come. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Hamburg, Germany, Weighing in at 220 pounds, Ludwig Kaiser! Tonight, I predict a showcase of Ludwig Kaiser's skills. Oh my gosh, that was horribly bad, Corey. You better not let Kaiser hear you. Actually, Saxton, Kaiser has been complimentary of this impression. I think it's great, too. Thank you, Michael Cole. You are truly the commentary general. I can't take this anymore. It's the warrior who's followed a dusty trail from the fringes to the spotlight. And his opponent from London, England, weighing in at 215 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the And just listen to that crowd. He's a universal champion who is quickly becoming universally beloved. More like universally overrated. The fans may adore him now, but let's see how long that love affair lasts. The reins are off, and it is on. I find it interesting that Gunther was so quick okay. to confront the champ last week, but now he sends out his flunky to do the fighting for him. That's why he's the ring general. No, no, Saxton. It's called strategy. Gunther has already oh, seen no, the no, tactical no. advantage as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion is fighting for a chance to face the Intercontinental Champion, which is the opposite of what usually works. Ooh. And that stops whatever Kaiser intended. 
Foot to the lower back. Oh, stop. Oh, no. Stop. stop. Jeez. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. And the forearm smash. Look at this. Just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Look at that counter from Ludwig. Ooh, point of the elbow counters that. Oh, he knew what was coming. Textbook side headlock takeover. Really wrenching it. Able to parry oh, that one. Oh. Ludwig gets out of the uh -oh. way. Oh! Dodge the drop kick. Uh-oh, but not that. Oh. Mm. No hangman action. No! Duh! <laughs> Ross, no. With the back elbow. Counted. Caught with that sharp elbow. Oh, look at this combination of strikes. Like he's got 11 arms and feet. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Pump him up. To the gut, too. Oh. Planning on what to do next. Piercing the throat. He can end it here. He's got him. Show no. him the count. How'd he do that? Oh, elbow right to the bread basket for their troubles. Oh, my gosh. Terminating knee smash. The close of this match is just ahead. Oh. Yeah, this match has not been kind to him. He is doing whatever uh -oh. possible to torture the knee. Oof. Working on my knee. Come on. Kick to the midsection prevents the attack. Perched on the shoulders. Feast your eyes. Can that keep Kaiser down? Uh, two, three. The himself. Imperium attacking the WWE Universal Champion. Did he really think the ring general wouldn't have a plan? This was a trap all along. And the dark horse walked right into it. Score one for Gunther. Oh, you look like you've been in a car accident, champ. <laughs> Miz wanted me to extend his deepest sympathies. That's not exactly how he phrased it on social media. I can't believe the flowers haven't arrived already. I'll have to put in a call. I just got the hell beaten out of me, Troy, in another one of Miz's traps. You sure you want to be doing this right now? No, no, I am not. Gunther and his lackeys jumped me. I want to show them why I'm the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, up close and personal. Then you'll be happy to know that Miz has given you exactly what you want. You'll get your wish when you face Imperium next week in a gauntlet match. So I face all three of them. One by one. The following is a gauntlet turmoil match. The rules of the match are as follows. Two superstars will start in the ring. When one superstar is eliminated, a new superstar enters. Eliminations can occur 
by pinfall, submission, disqualification, or countouts. The match will be won if the first entrant eliminates all other entrants in the match. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion is here to run Imperium's gauntlet. And from London, England, weighing in at 215 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Superstar! What's the strategy taking on Imperium in a gauntlet match? Uh, don't do it? Seriously, this is a terrible idea. It's not too late to back out, champ. Will the champ run the gauntlet or get run over? The stylish and classy side of and Imperium. Representing Imperium from South Tyrol, Italy, weighing in at 220 pounds, Giovanni Vinci! Talented, athletic, agile, and all at the service of Imperium. There is no denying his abilities, but Vinci sometimes seems like he wants to show off more than Imperium will allow. Bite your tongue, Saxton. There are no rules that say you can't look as good as Vinci while also simultaneously keeping the mat sacred. Maintaining the sanctity of the mat on his own classy terms. I've seen what he'll do to win. It's not classy or sacred. There won't be any traps tonight. The WWE oh. Universal Champion gets his hands there we on go. First member. You say that like it's good for the champ, Saxton. How much of him do you if think he's going to be left by the time he gets to go? Gone clip, the man. champ has faced down the odds from night one, Corey. That's why they call I can him see that. the Dark Horse. Good defense. Oh. What a forearm. Oh. Uh. Oh, no. Someone call the orthodontist. Come on. Oh, the forearm connects. Oh, not a good place to be. Some mud hole stumping. Um. Get this Look at done this. quick. Just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Jeez. And now Giovanni is showing the damage all over his face. Uh-oh. Harlem sidekick. Ooh. Oh, look at this wicked striking ability. Like he's got 11 arms and feet. And Giovanni's resolve might be wavering here. Vinci's not showing any capacity to fight back. Setting it up. Boom! Will this be enough? Mm. And a kick out at two. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. No. Nasty stop to finish it off. Not to finish it. Door of forearms. Listen to the impact. Oh. And Vinci turning it. Oh no, getting in position. Oh no. Oh no, this is not where he wants to be. Yeah, but can he roll on his body? Can he roll? Can he roll here and counter this? Fight it, fight it. Body breaks free, but will the damage 
proved to be irreparable. Got to make it. Ooh. And Giovanni's result. Shoulders down. Two. Oh. He's out. Giovanni Vinci's taken out of the gauntlet. They are out of here. And even after this next entrant, there's still another challenger. Next into the gauntlet is Ludwig Kaiser. Just look at the WWE Universal Champion. This guy's already oh, hurting. No, he's no. only in the second fight of the gauntlet. Of course he's hurting. Vinci wasn't in that first match to win. He was looking to hurt the champ. And what do you think Ludwig Kaiser is going to do in this match? Haven't you learned never to Ooh. count the WWE Universal Champion out? Oh. And that failed to hit the mark. Not bicycle knee strike. He now just looks helpless to every attack. Yeah, it's to pull out some form of offense here. I'm in a I'm get him already. I'm on. Oh, oh. Feast your eyes. Give it a shot. Keep Kaiser down. Cover. Dude. He, no way. Ooh. No way. I don't know how he just kicked out. And I'll tell you what. I don't really think he knows either. I thought it was over. The WWE Universe thought it was over. But you got to do a little more to finally finish this. Ripcord. Lariat. He could pin his opponent right here. And he kicks out at two. Somehow, somehow. Oh. Oh, look at these kicks. Oh. Wow. No doubt Ludwig is having trouble here. Yeah, Kaiser really has to show some oh. more resistance. Oh. Oh, oh no. Look at this. Oh, straight to the floor. I don't care how bold you are. Missing on those kind of maneuvers will send you to a medical facility. A medical attention might be needed out here. That was a nasty Aww. landing. Setting it up. Boom. I'm going to get this one done quick as well. Oh. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Delivers the cross body. Cover. Two. That's all. That's all. Hey, hey. <laughs> Coming in fresh, we've got the last competitor entering the gauntlet. The next fall, he'll win the match. This isn't who we expected. Where the heck Whoa. is Gunther? Must be another tactical move by the ring general. I love Ooh, it. You're drunk and all. Can the dark horse take down the surprise opponent? What's going on here? Has Ilya Dragunov joined Imperium? He's at least stepped in to replace Gunther tonight in what I assume is oh. an attempt to throw the Dark Horse off his game. What better man to recruit than one you've been to war with? Another incredible chess move by the ring general to punish the champ in this final gauntlet match. Oh, right to the throat. <laughs> Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Uh -oh. Oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Turns it around. Soul of the foot meets the stomach. It's a revolving door of forms. Listen to the impact. Perched on the shoulders. Feast your eyes. And that can keep dragging off down. No. No. Oh. Master plan okay. Hang on. Got their front behind with the intercontinental title. And the champ is down. I just got a message from WWE.com. They ran a poll, and the majority of the WWE universe thinks that it's Gunther's time to rise. Maybe the WWE universe didn't see me take out two-thirds of Imperium in their hired gun. Or maybe it's that the Age of Imperium has such a nice ring to it. Epic. What do they even call your run, huh? All this time is WWE Universal Champion. Has anyone ever actually said it's your era? They don't have to say it. They know. Well, good news. After that gauntlet match, Miz decided that this rivalry has had the proper buildup. 
So you'll be defending the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Gunther at Night of Champions in a no disqualification match, just like you wanted. Stacking the deck against me. Must be Friday. The following contest is scheduled. I don't think they even. I'm pretty. I'm pretty done that recently. Lately, I don't think so. Gunther. The challenger is a great champion, and he hasn't come alone. 